Well, guys, we're thrilled to be visiting with you on the eve of the playoffs. So predict a little future for me. Let's start there. What do you think the main storylines we're all going to be talking about for the next couple months are going to be? Well, I think the, the storyline is going to be Dwayne Wade's health. I mean, I think that's a big one. Uh, and listen, I, I'm not one of those people who think Brooklyn got a chance. Listen, the Indiana Pacers. I'm sure the people of Brooklyn would be thrilled to hear they, that. They'll get over it. You know, you know. <laughs> Uh, they'll get over it. Listen, it's going to be the Heat and the Pacers in the Eastern Conference Finals, and uh, it's going to come. They, Indiana, you know, they've struggled some coming down the stretch, but they're still going to be there in the end. What do you guys think we'll be talking about? I like this storyline. Kevin Durant wins the MVP. LeBron gets gets pissed and just rolls through the playoffs. Heat go 15 and one, win the championship. I like this storyline. San Antonio, uh, 28 seconds from the title a year ago win it this year against the same team. Well, that is the added bonus for you guys of putting Charles in San Antonio for next year. Oh, yeah, he, 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 he did. Oh, we all yeah. like the river. Like it. It's oh, not wow. a river. What is it? it is, it's it's the, a creek. What don't you like about San Antonio? When oh, he, uh, <laughs> they got some big old women down there. They got some big old women down in San Antonio. When he starts on one of these rants, what, what do you guys chiro. do on the set in one of those moments? No, we let it ride. Yeah. You ride with the wave. You, don't, you, you, can't, you can't ride against the wave. You got to ride with it. You know? He went on a rant against the women of San Antonio. No, but no, <laughs> Charles just likes to get signs made. Who made signs that people bring to the arena in San Antonio? Uh, you know, uh, that could be a gold buy for a downtown girl. We could set a sales record down there. We could set the record down and set it. We, 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 can forget, we can forget the other 49 states and just work in San Antonio. Not big and tall, but just big oh, and Oh, big, short and, short and squatty. <laughs> I just want to point out it was Ernie who brought up San Antonio. Uh, <laughs> I, I brought up the Spurs. I love it. I know from being with you in the green room, you guys pretty much sound like you do on the set. What is it when you guys get off the subject of the NBA? What do you guys talk about the most? We can movies. talk about that. We talk about <laughs> talk about movies. Talk about Politics. other sports. Yeah, current yeah. events, whatever's current. But it's interesting talking to everybody around the green room. We have a probably eight to ten people in the green room and more people in the hallway, and everybody has an opinion. And some of them are idiotic, I might add. I mean, what's yours, Stan? I think I think the plane crashed, unfortunately. And you, you're going to get 256 people with no one had a cell phone that actually worked. Uh, people uh, people used to in the middle of the ocean. But, but I'm saying, saying but don't pay, no, pay, but once but, you land, yeah. people would love to hear you guys arguing about all kinds of topics. Have you guys ever thought about taking the show beyond the NBA here? No. Trust me, it's, it's tough year. enough to get us to do the show now. Shaq goes to China every weekend. <laughs> Kenny got 22 kids, so he's always <laughs> trying to get the next deal. And Ernie's, Ernie's, uh, you know, he's what? he's always busy. Uh, he's because he always he's the best speaker of the group. Well, he's certainly the one who keeps you guys. Yeah, angry. and I just want to play golf and fish. <laughs> Everybody thinks he's not funny. <laughs> Who's the most unpredictable? Shaq. Yeah. Because I'll do whatever yeah. it takes for the shot. Oh yeah, he will. I'll yeah. do whatever. We had a joke here when Shaq first got here. <laughs> he they're like the first. Two, three weeks. He tried to do something to do better than the next week. So the running joke around here with me, Kenny, me and Kenny Ernie's like, we're about two weeks away from Shaq setting himself on fire. <laughs> Rachel. Has, has it happened? Rachel, no. there, there was there was a night. He leaned over to me in commercial basis, somebody ought to push that Christmas tree over on me. It'd be really funny. And then the next week it was like, somebody should tase me. <laughs> I got to know some people Excuse in law enforcement. Oh, yeah. I do whatever you on the air. Shot. You yeah. have been good at basketball from the moment you stepped on the court. When you stepped on the set here to join this crew, especially an established group like this, was it a tougher learning curve than you expected? I was terrified. I was kind of nervous of how I would fit in. I tried to come, you know, do it the professional way. And you, you, you heard what Kenny just said? Yeah. I, didn't I was going to say, what was the whisper? What did I just Kenny, say? Kenny said, uh, you know we, we have microphones. When he said he was terrified, say? Kenny said, what, he was shooting free throws? It's not like your average show where you're, you know, talking to the teleprompter, boom, boom, boom. About this one, because when you and I spoke earlier this year, you told me that this contract was your last contract. Uh -huh. In a little less than two years, you were leaving this show. Yeah. Is that still true? Do you guys have anything to say about that? I've never heard of a guy leaving a job that he only works one day a week. Well, for me, for me, I, first of all, <laughs> who I've wants said, to retire from I, something I've, you can only do I've one said, day? I said I love my job. I got, uh, I do. I got a great job. My dilemma is how long do you do it? It'll be 17 years. That's my, I, I like, 
I, I like 17, but 17 years of one day a week is actually like a five year no, job. No, 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 no. But I'm just telling you, though. Like, that's I, a five year that, job. But I'm just telling you, listen, man, don't make me clock you on. There are people, there are people, <laughs> cameramen who are looking at you going, well, we work every show every day. And you're like, you're complaining about working a one day, you but come here on the, your this private is, jets and this your, is their real your, job, your suites. Though. This is like, your, this is my summer job. And your lobster and steaks yeah. that you would get in the back. I mean, <laughs> are you kidding me? Do you guys think he's really going to walk in less than No, he's not walking. He ain't going on. He loves us too much. I love. I love, I, love, I love these guys, but like I say, like retired, I say my, my dilemma is uh, 17 years. I mean, first of all, Candy can't retire. She's still having kids. Um, <laughs> I mean, you want to be maybe a general manager, you I told do, me. I do want to be team. a general manager. If he goes into that, will you guys be tough on him, easy on him? Will you even oh, let him my, do well, it? I, listen, listen, that's the way this thing works. If you do well, people talk good about you. If you do bad, they talk bad about you. I already know the first question I'll ask him when he's a GM and he joins us via satellite on, on our show. Uh, Charles, how does it feel having lost 29 straight? Do you make any changes now? <laughs> let's, see, first, team? let's see, first of all, once I leave these guys, they're not going to get my private cell phone. <laughs> That's I'm not, it? I'm not going to be. They're dead to you? I'm not, no, they're not dead to me, but I'm not going to be giving them interviews. No, that's yeah, it. Yeah, but that'd be trying so to get we, inside we of information. Right, yeah. exactly. Well, a lot of people don't want to see broken up anytime soon, so I'm glad you're giving us at least a Thanks few more Thanks for bringing it up, Rachel. Well, yeah. Thank you, Rachel. Jeez. You almost made me cry for joy. thought about it. You almost made me cry for joy, thinking about him leaving.